e nā nā kākou, e malama i ka aina. Hawaiian native forest evolved over millions of years to become one of the most remarkable natural environments on Earth. Magnificent lowland wet forests are found on the eastern part of the Big Island of Hawaii. Growing on both a'a and pahoehoe lava flows, some of these forests are 3,000 years old. These lowland wet forests, beyond their natural beauty, serve as reservoirs for native and rare species. They are, in effect, a seed bank, preserving Hawaii's genetic heritage. However, forests can be changed dramatically over a relatively short period of history. The legendary Ohia Lehua is the most abundant native tree in Hawaii. This tree's tiny seeds are spread by the wind. They are the first trees to grow on new lava flows and help create the vast lowland wet forest of Puna. Ohia is slow growing, but in favorable conditions it grows for hundreds of years, forming forest canopies up to 100 feet high. The entire Ohia tree was considered sacred by the Hawaiian people. The wood was used for spears, idols, and posts for houses. Its young leaves were used as a medicinal tonic. The tree's brilliant red lehua flower is a principal food source for certain native birds, such as the apapane and the amakihi. Native lowland wet forests have been shrinking steadily since humans first arrived in Hawaii, and this has accelerated dramatically over the last 200 years due to logging, clearing for farming, construction of subdivisions, wild pigs, and invasive plant species. It is very important to be aware of pretty ornamentals that you bring into your area. Not all ornamentals can be easily and safely contained. One of these invasive species is the albizia. The albizia was introduced in Hawaii as an ornamental tree originally from Asia. It is one of over 100 introduced plants that now threaten Hawaii native forests. Albizia is a fast-growing tree which threatens native ohia forests for several reasons. It is a nitrogen-fixing tree. This means that certain soil bacteria are housed on the roots of the albizia tree, which then gathers nitrogen from the air and incorporates it into its leaves and tissue. The many leaves dropped by the albizia then create the nitrogen-rich soil in which albizia thrives. Unfortunately, ohia, which thrives in nitrogen-poor soil, does not compete well with the invasive species attracted to this rich soil. Albizia can germinate in relatively fresh lava flows, threatening ohia lehua, where it has traditionally dominated. Also, albizia grows at a rapid rate. Trees can reach heights of more than 20 feet in their first year. In just 10 years, they can be 60 feet high. The root system spreads significantly both below and above ground. The crown of an albizia tree is broad, capable of shading over half an acre, thus reducing sunlight to the trees below it, including the ohia. Albizia causes ohia to die off and makes the environment more favorable for other invasive species, such as strawberry guava and the koki frog. It is very difficult to contain the spread of albizia. Stands of albizia exist throughout Puna, the most well-known being the Tree Tunnel near Lava Tree State Park on Highway 132. The tree's seed pods are prolific and can carry far with the wind. Although the lightweight wood can be used for a number of products and can be treated for insect and rot resistance, it is an inferior wood. It should not be used for any type of structural support. The albizia tree is brittle and sheds limbs regularly in the wind. This is a hazard near any structure. If you have albizia on your land, the best thing that can be done is to eliminate it. Seedlings can be simply pulled up from the ground, 
while mid and large sized trees will require herbicide, girdling, or professional removal. You can contact the Institute of Pacific Islands Forestry for pamphlets and more specific information. For a list of which ornamentals are safe to grow, visit this website. Protection of the few remaining ohia forests can be done. Lowland wet forests can be reclassified as reserves or as special ecological areas in order to focus efforts in controlling and reducing invasive species. Additionally, remaining native forests could be purchased to be protected from bulldozing and development. A sign of hope is the ongoing return of the Apapane and the Amakihi. Despite being devastated by avian malaria and loss of habitat, these birds are making a comeback. Some of the birds have developed a resistance to malaria and are being sighted more often in Lower Puna. However, as Puna continues to be developed, it is imperative to preserve as many ohia lehua as possible. Supported by an informed public and conservation-oriented government planning, these birds can hearken the return of Hawaii's native forests.